Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. So in today's session, I am going to introduce to you the cash book. So before I talk about the cash book, it's important that I do a brief recap of what we did in our previous session. It is that recap that is going to usher in the cash book. In our previous session, we talked about the subdivisions of the ledger. Remember, we said that a ledger is just a special book where accounts are kept. So if we're talking about the sales ledger, the sales ledger is going to hold accounts, uh, personal accounts of uh, people that owe us money. The debtors accounts are kept in the sales ledger. Then in the purchases ledger, the purchases ledger is a special book that is going to hold personal accounts of uh, our suppliers. In other words, suppliers that have given us things on credit. Then we have what we call the nominal ledger or call it the general ledger. So it's in the general ledger where all the other accounts are going to be kept. That is, call it the capital account, the fixed assets account, the expense accounts. They are all going to be held in the general ledger. So among those accounts that are held in the general ledger, we have the cash account. Okay, the cash account is actually found also, or it's supposed to be in the general ledger, that is the cash account and the bank account. Now, as you may know it, in any business, we have two categories of transactions. We have what we call the cash transactions and the non-cash transactions. The non-cash transactions are the kind that definitely cash is not involved, and then the cash transactions are where cash actually ex exchanges hands. And of course, between the cash transactions and the non-cash transactions, you will find that it is the cash transactions that will always be more than the non-cash transactions. So now when it comes to double entry, all cash transactions will have to be recorded in either the cash account or the bank account. Of course, um, it is norm normally in practice, the cash account will always be very busy because you'll always be receiving cash and paying out cash and all kinds of cash transactions have one of their foot in either the cash account or the bank account. So because the cash account and the bank account appear to be more busy accounts compared to the other accounts that are found in the general ledger and the other accounts that are found in the other subdivisions of the ledger, that is the sales ledger and the purchases ledger, it is only good practice that we extract these cash account and bank account and put them in a special book. This special book is what we are calling the cash book. So in other words, the cash book is more of a subdivision of the general ledger. Remember, the general ledger contains all the expense accounts, all the fixed asset accounts, you know, but because the cash and the bank account are busy accounts, they are always having frequent transactions, we put them in a special book we are calling the cash book. So that is how we get to have the cash book. So in this series, in the videos coming, we are going to talk about the types of cash books. We have what we call the double column cash book. Um, we also have what we call the three column cash book. And then also we have what we call the petty cash book. So we will be exploring more of this in our upcoming sessions and as well do worked examples to illustrate how double entry takes place in the cash book. This is Arnold. Thanks for tuning in.